This is the mini one gel system. It comes with a hood, gel casting trays, combs, an electrophoresis chamber, also known as the buffer tank, a black plastic indicator, a cord, and a power supply that is connected to the base. The cord connects to the power supply here. Please remember that you cannot pour buffer in the base. Buffer must be poured in the electrophoresis chamber because there are two electrodes that are within the base that may get destroyed. In the buffer tank, there are two little bumps on one side. These are the bumps for the electrical connection. The other side is completely flat. This is an indication on how the buffer tank should be placed into the base. The buffer tank should fit snugly into the base. Force should not be needed to fit the buffer tank into the base. Inside the buffer tank, there are two rods. These are the electrodes. There is a black plastic indicator that has the markings for the wells. It also has the ruler and positive and negative signs on the opposite side. The positive and negatives should match the positive and negative signs on the buffer tank. There should be an indentation where the black plastic will fit. After making the gels, lay them in and pour in the buffer. This is basically the hood and the top. There is an indentation in the middle and the hood should fit well. After plugging the gel box in, use the power button to turn the gel box on and off. The hood must be on in order to run the gel box. As soon as the hood is removed, the power will turn off. You will know that it is running when the green light is turned on the whole time. Students may play with it and take off the hood. Remind them to replace the top and to turn the gel box back on. Once finished using the gel box, rinse the tank with DI water and place it upside down to dry.